Hi Bookish Besties, my name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Breeds. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're already subscribed, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. This is just going to be a quick chit chatty style video talking about what you can expect in November in terms of content, plus a few other things. <music> So I just really wanted to come on here and do a quick sit down kind of update video on what things are going to look like for my channel for the month of November because November is looking a little bit crazy for me in terms of extracurriculars that I have going on. Now y'all know me, I am very much a homebody. I don't leave my house on the weekends unless I absolutely have to just because I'm so busy running around during the week that on Saturdays and Sundays, I just need time to decompress. I need time to do the laundry and clean my house. You know what I mean? And so unless I'm out running errands or anything like that. I'm typically at home, but there's actually quite a lot going on in the month of November. And I have a feeling that some of that might interfere with my ability to create content. But I do also have an exciting announcement that I'm going to be making. And also I am going to be asking your help on something. So we're going to cover all of that in this video. So let's go ahead and start with content. Y'all are very familiar already with my filming and uploading schedule. And if you've watched some of my recent videos where I go more in depth in terms of what my day-to-day -day life looks like, like you'll be even more familiar with it. But basically the weekends are really the only time that I'm able to film videos for the upcoming week. And so when I cannot film on the weekends, I really cannot get any content up. And the weekends are looking very busy and the weekdays are also looking to be very busy as well. So just quickly, I don't really anticipate this influencing my content in any way, but I thought I would just like include it in the update because it's going to be adding to the chaos a little bit. For the month of November, several times in the month, I'm going to have to see a physical therapist for my lower back. I don't don't know what I did to it, but I have somehow messed with the SI joint. At least that's what my orthopedist told me is that it's probably the SI joint that I'm having problems with. It's been hurting for the past three months or so, and it's never gone away. It hasn't necessarily gotten any worse or anything like that, but it's just always there and it's not supposed to feel the way that it feels. And it definitely hinders what I'm able to do at the gym and just standing or walking for long periods of time really aggravates it. So I'm seeing a PT several times during the month of November. And so that's going to require me to take some time off here and there from work. And so that's going to interfere with the work that I'm able to get done. And so that also might mean that I'm working from home a little bit more than I want to like on the weekends. So I guess in that regard, it could interfere with my ability to film and edit content if I'm falling behind. I don't anticipate that to be the case because I'm pretty on top of my stuff. And I don't think that it's going to be so busy at work that I'm not going to be able to make up the time, especially when I'm only off for like a couple hours during the day while I'm going to these appointments. But there is a possibility that I might have to do additional work at home if that is the case. But my biggest concern comes from the weekends. So the first weekend in November is my husband Robert's birthday. At this point, we don't necessarily have any official plans for what is happening on that weekend, but we might. The following weekend on November 9th, we are going to the Louisiana Renaissance Festival and we are going to be there all day on Saturday. Luckily, I should have Sunday to film. So hopefully that's not going to get in the way of anything. Now on the 16th, the 16th is definitely going to be very busy, but with what? I don't know. So the 16th is actually the day that I scheduled to get my tattoo. I am going to start the first tattoo of what I hope to be a bookish sleeve. And so I scheduled that for the 16th and I'm very, very excited. It's been over 10 years since I've gotten a tattoo. And the only reason why I haven't gotten more is just because tattoos are very stressful planning for me because I'm not a creative person and I'm definitely not an artistic person. So I need to see images that kind of represent what I want. And I need to be able to express what I want to the tattoo artist. And also all of my tattoos were done in California and I haven't lived in California in about 10 years. Just the thought of trying to find a tattoo artist and all of that stuff has been difficult. But luckily I found somebody here in Mississippi that I think is going to do a great job because she is already familiar with Sarah J Mass and her work. When I found her and I knew that she was familiar with Sarah J Mass, I was like, okay, you are the one that I want to do this tattoo because it is going to be an Abraxas tattoo. So I've given her some concept ideas and I'm excited to see what she comes up with. And I met with her recently at an event here that we have once a year called Ink in the Coast. I had a brief chat with her and I gave her the deposit and we set the schedule for November 16th. And my dumbass completely forgot that I am going to see Beetlejuice, the Broadway musical on the 16th in New Orleans. I just happened to be reviewing the confirmation email that I got about it. And I noticed the day and I'm like, okay, that is not going to work. So I'm looking into rescheduling the tattoo appointment. And that's really disappointing because I wouldn't be able to go the next weekend because the next weekend, my husband and I are actually going to Houston for the Texas Renaissance Festival. And the Texas Renaissance Festival is supposed to be one of the biggest in the country. 
country and I'm very very excited about it. We live about six hours from Houston so it's not a terribly long drive at all. It's an easy day for us so we're going to go there on a Friday and then we are going to spend Saturday and Sunday at the Ren Fair and come back on Monday. And another reason I'm very excited is because Houston has an Ikea and I know that you're probably wondering why I'm so excited about that. Well I don't have an Ikea anywhere near me. The last few times that I've gone to an Ikea it's been either to the one in Memphis or to the one in Atlanta and both of those are a six plus hour drive. So this one in Houston is no further away than any of the other ones that I visited and my office is in desperate need of additional shelving. Now I don't have much room at all. My office is pretty much crammed wall to wall but I do have some small sections that can accommodate the half Billy bookcases. In fact if you can kind of see over here you'll see some Funko Pops stacked and that is because I have a bunch of Funko Pops all over the floor in here and that's really what I need the shelving for at this time and I do want to do that as soon as possible because I do plan on doing a library and bookshelf tour for Bookmas. And so I guess this is where I'm going to announce my participation once again in Bookmas. If you are not familiar with Bookmas, Bookmas was basically I believe originally created by Haley over Haley in Bookland and it's essentially the bookish version of Vlogmas although not all the content is vlogs. There will be some vlogs going up for me in Bookmas but most of my videos are going to be formal content and I do December 1st through December 25th so my goal is to upload one video a day during that time. Now with my schedule I don't really know what that's going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to be successful at uploading every single day this year like I have been the past two years. Either way you're going to be getting 25 videos in the month of December. It's going to be a struggle but I'm going to do my best and I'm very very excited because I think I have some pretty good ideas for my bookmas content this year. Some of it's going to be pretty standard and same old same old but I'm really excited about some of the videos that I'm going to be filming. And so circling back for a second if I can't get my tattoo on the 16th I won't be able to get it on the weekend of the 22nd and I don't know like what her availability is around that point because then the next week is going to be Thanksgiving. Hi friends, editing Brittany here once again. Are you tired of seeing me yet? I did feel the need to come on here because shortly after I filmed this video, my plans did officially change. On the 16th of November, I completely forgot that I had purchased tickets to see the Beetlejuice Broadway show in New Orleans. And so I had my tattoo scheduled for that day. Luckily, somebody had canceled for my tattoo artist on the 9th. So she is able to fit me in on the 9th. So I'm actually getting the tattoo sooner than expected but that means that I have to reschedule the Louisiana Renaissance Fair so that is now being moved to the 30th so basically my weekends are like this on the second my husband and I are going to a local arts and crafts festival it's actually pretty big there's supposed to be like 400 some odd vendors there and I've always wanted to go and check it out but we've just never gone and we've been here for like seven years at this point and so I wanted to finally go ahead and go so we're going on the second on the ninth I'm getting my tattoo on the 16th we're going to the Beetlejuice show on the 22nd 3rd 4th and 5th we are going to be in Houston at the Renaissance Fair and then on the 30th that is when we are going to the Louisiana Renaissance Fair. So literally every single Saturday in November is completely booked. Luckily I will still have Sundays or I should still have Sundays in order to catch up on any filming and editing that I might need to do with the exception of the weekend that I am in Houston. So I do hope that things are not too terribly affected but things are looking a little bit busy. So I just wanted to come on here and give you that official schedule update. But all that said because of everything Thing that is going on and everything that is happening, I do have a feeling that it's going to impact my ability to put out content primarily the latter half of November, specifically probably the last week, week and a half of the month. So it is entirely possible that for that last week, I might not have any content at all. However, I will be more than making up for that missing content in December when I do book mess. I just kind of wanted to come on here and share that with you just so you're not concerned over the missing content if you notice it, because I promise you, you are going to get all the content in December. So so that's what's going on. Those are all the things that are happening in November and I really appreciate y'all sticking with me and being willing to sit through all of the chaos that is going on in the moment. So we've talked about content, we've talked about the bookmas announcement and so now I want to ask for your help again because I do have another video idea for bookmas but it's going to require some input from you. Namely, I want to know your favorite and least favorite book that you have read so far in 2024. I want you to stick to one each if you can but if that's just not possible possible, I will allow you to give me two favorites and two least favorites. And I plan to potentially incorporate them into a video in Bookmas if I can pull it off. I have a lot of balls up in the air for Bookmas. I have a lot of things that I'm still researching and ideas that I'm considering and I'm still open to more ideas as well. So if there is potentially anything that you might want to see me film for Bookmas, you are absolutely welcome to leave that down below. I'm completely open to feedback because there are typically at least a couple of video ideas that I have every single year that don't necessarily
necessarily pan out and I have to fill it in with something else. And so I would love to have some backup video ideas just in case something doesn't work out. So please feel free to leave any of those ideas down below along with of course your best and worst so far of 2024. And I think that's it everyone. I think those are all the updates that I want to give you. Thank you again for sticking with me during this very very chaotic time. And of course if you made it to the end of this video and you are not feeling chatty, if you don't want to leave me your best and worst book or book miss ideas, please just go ahead and leave me that emoji with the X's for eyes because I feel like that really encompasses my current mental and emotional state at the moment. <laughs> And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I typically post two videos a week, one on Wednesdays, one on Sundays, and I would love to connect with you in any of those future videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which you can always find linked down below along with any books featured in the video. Until next time, y'all. Bye.